The beginning of episode four begins with a poem by Joe Bosquet, which is read to Vincent by Hootie. The poem symbolizes Vincent's sense of awakening, feeling as though everything that has happened to him has come across in the form of a dream, which he is slowly starting to awaken from. The poem goes as such. Nothing. There was a town or a church or a river or a color or a light or a shadow. I kept still for a while and felt a pleasant sensation, as the indescribable great harmony, the brightness of the sky and the melancholy of the moment spread throughout my body. It was just a dream. I don't know what happened inside my mind, nor do I have any way of putting it into words. It was a moment that defied all words, when I felt something inside me fall asleep and something else wake up. In the world that was born from him, a person could now become anything. Joe Bosquet was a French surrealist poet that was wounded during the First World War, and left a permanent paraplegic and opium addict from his experiences. Of all the thinkers that he made an impact upon, one of the most influential was that made upon Guillet de Luz, whom we've discussed concerning the concept of becoming other, which, oddly enough, is referenced in Bosquet's poem. Even more odd is that immediately after this scene we are introduced to Daedalus' auto raves, appropriately named Deleuze and Guattari. In the work of Mourning by Jacques Derrida, who is also referenced in the series, Derrida pays tribute to the late Deleuze by quoting Bosquet throughout the text. One must wonder if the creators were inspired from this exact text. The title of the chapter is, I'm going to have to wander alone, which could symbolize Vincent's sense of isolation that he feels after having left Ramdo. In episode 3, Vincent comments on the oppressive nature of Ramdo itself and the need for its citizens to mindlessly obey authority at all times. As Vincent states, doubting the system is bad, always obey. The collective informs the viewer of how deeply seated the indoctrination is, stating, the citizens are modeled on prearranged information. Later in episode 4, Hootie, while pondering upon Ramdo, comments to Vincent that, until you know a lie is a lie, then it's the truth which is an apt definition of the concept of ideology and how it operates in our current contemporary power system-based society. He further warns that knowing the truth won't always make you happy, a forewarning and foreshadowing of hardships that are to come to both Vincent and Riel as they seek to further understand the nature of the proxy itself. Riel is given similar advice when talking to Deadless, informing him of where the dead proxy is so he can analyze it for her, explaining to her what it actually is. Indeed, the truth carries certain traumas with it that most cannot come to psychologically accept, scarring them mentally from the experience. As we discussed with Plato's cave previously, the enlightenment that is gained by stepping out into the sun can be the burning source of brightness that comes to blind.